Why hello and thank you so much for joining me. This is Gamaged. We're jumping in and testing out Randoville. This is a medieval city builder game where everything is decided by luck. So we get to throw out a D20 dice down and find out what we get. We can get a nice palace. We can get a shabby shack. We never know. I thought it was really interesting. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this too. If you guys are, please take time. Hit the like button. If you're brand new, please don't subscribe. If you want to test it out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description down below. Here we go. We're going to arrive. And actually, I've never played this game before. So it should be interesting to try and figure out what we need to do. I'm not sure if there's a tutorial or not. Again, this is just a demo of the game. I guess we have to select here, increase zone. Hopefully get a big zone. I think I need some rock and wood to start off with. There's some water nearby too. Got 12. Not bad. It gives us a nice little zone here, which could be good, I guess. I mean, I'm going to want those trees and stuff to be able to build. So maybe right about here. And there's some rock in the middle of that one. So I'm thinking we're going to need that. This is some looking at the resources on top and what we're going to need to build. So the little guys come out of nowhere. And start making their way around here. It looks like maybe some miners and stuff. And then we need to build ourselves a barn. Let's hope we get a good roll. I'm not sure if it goes an easier way. What is that there? Something right here. Oh, 19. Hello. So the higher number, obviously, we're going to get better, right? I think that's how it works. Hopefully that's how it works. There we go. I'm probably going to build a farm. Actually, wait, I'm going to want to build it. These guys are making a whole bunch of trails everywhere and it's driving me a little bit nuts. <laughs> so it's not exactly roads that we need to build in. Probably going to put right here. And we'll build to build ourselves some farm fields and stuff. Uh, we can also get ourselves a quarry. Oh, big number. Ah, oh, crud. All right, well, it's not going to be great, but it'll be something. And I guess we're going to have to build that somewhere here on top of it. Awesome. Well, better than nothing, I guess we'll get that quarry up and running. And I guess we're going to do some houses, maybe? A couple of houses. It'd be nice. Sorry if it's shitty a bit, but we're going to have to do our best. Maybe we'll put those right over here. It's a little bit of an angle here. Interesting little game, though. I'm liking this. So we'll get ourselves a little bit of housing. We're going to need some lumber. Uh, well, it doesn't make a difference where I throw a dice down. What I get? What I get? Five. Come on. And maybe we start cutting down these ones first. I don't want to be on top of these. No. Okay, let's just see how it looks like. Maybe like this. Perfect. So these guys are going to come in here. It looks like the trees are already been cut down on that side. Boy, it just got super dark. All right. Hopefully the daylight comes is pretty quick. It looks like it costing us quite a bit to get these things going. We're probably going to need to get some, some food. Come on. A good field. 15. All right. Not bad. And look at me again. It's completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is good. All right. That is nice. We got ourselves maybe another field. Let's get lucky. Come on. Can I say no to it? Do I have to have it? I guess I have to have it. Okay. I'm like, can I say no? It's cost me every time I put something down here. So then we're going to build some grain. We're also going to need a windmill. We're going to put 17. Okay. Well, I have a feeling the... That's a market we end up getting for this one. Okay. Which is not bad, I guess, near the farms. If possible. There we go. Now we got ourselves a windmill. Kind of think this is super important for us to have, especially with all the stuff here. That we'd be trying to get ourselves going and maybe grind that up. Food per second, three. Okay, that's good. Bit of a messy little area, but it's uh, got to do your best what we have. So we got some lumber going down. Barn is going to cost another 600 wood. This is producing one wood per second, so maybe we should get our butts in gear. And I still need to get more wood and stuff. Boy, it's going to take some time to get this one. All right, when I was selecting the windmill, I wasn't even looking at the uh, thing here. It says windmill and windmill. So obviously that's going to have to change. This is market and windmill. There's also another mining thing there too. We're going to have to hold off a tiny bit until we can get enough wood, which means I'll have to work on that tiny bit. We do have a little market here. And at least it's marked there. And it's you can turn it on or off. Golds per uh, four per second, which is adding up to our nice little tally here very shortly. And I'm not sure if these guys eat or not, but they probably do. I think that thing over there was a gem. It quarried out. That's pretty good. 
Yeah, because they did grab it. It looks like they mined it out completely. And the quarry is right in the middle, which is giving us one per second, which is not fantastic whatsoever. Uh, obviously, I mean, this is good for with spend gold and, of course, rock and stuff to just get more crops and stuff. But I think we're doing pretty good. It seems to be, well, actually, you know, it's going down pretty fast, isn't it? I think we might actually have to invest a tiny bit more in here. A 17. So maybe a better crop for this one. There we go. And maybe a better barn would be kind of nice. But again, it's all about these, how much it's going to cost here. And I believe that, you know, the wood and, of course, a quarry would be really nice if we could expand this out. I'm not sure if I could build another square onto this side. Possibly I could. And then move over to the other side and try and get as much as possible from there. All right, we're definitely going to put down a lumber down here. Hopefully we'll get lucky with this roll. Okay, and that we didn't, not at all. So we'll put another one over here. Uh, this one is taking care of this area here, I guess, and it's producing. I'm not even sure if you actually need to have them. Like, they're not, just simply knocking out any kind of trees and stuff. So maybe we can put them really close to each other here and make it look somewhat decent for the crappier ones. Tough to uh, maneuver, I tell you right now. You're very limited in your space you have where you can place these things. It's gotta be like almost to a tree line here. Yeah, I think I'll place it down here then. All right, so let him continue that road. Uh, next one we want to do once he finishes up building all this thing here, we'll be able to get ourselves going maybe with some more of the actual work here. So that we do have to get these things going as fast as possible. So double wood, and if we can also get the rock. Rocks doesn't seem to be as you know pricey, but and definitely the wood goes down super quick. And again, we also the food seems to be going down like mega quick too, which is not great especially this early on. I'm not sure if the housing does anything different for it. Add population, which then decreases again the amount, but I guess we can make ourselves more stuff here. This is actually going up now. They just did the first farms here. That's good, look at that. Wheat fields, one per second, three per second, four per second. That's pretty good, the wheat's going up. I just don't know here, three from one windmill and food created three per second. Obviously not enough not at all so we're going to need to create ourselves another one of these with this wood we're going to get this time around then we can expand back out it's just not enough wooden meals out here to creating the grain so we can make the bread and keep ourselves going so let's get that going good dice throw come on yeah, it's not horrible let's make a second one over here let's not hit each other a little bit off it's kind of strange i'd like to be able to uh position exactly where i want it to but it's not the end of the world there we go now we got two of these going at full throttle we can keep our people fed i believe now it's going to go up it is going up perfect so avoid increasing our population as much as we possibly can right now we have seven to six i'm not sure what these numbers are on the right hand side 11 two all right it's nighttime we do have a little bit more wood and stuff uh the thing is i'm thinking this i can't even hover and find out what it is but i'm thinking it's the workers and stuff we have uh, we're probably going to have to get ourselves another one of the houses built. Which means we're doing okay on food. I just, I'd like to get other things going, but I think we're going to need more workers. You know, if I build them, I'm not going to be able to have enough people working for them and getting things done. So that's okay. Uh, grain is going down pretty darn quick too. We are making the bread now very efficient. Of course, this is taking the stuff, the uh, grain and making it into bread, which is great. Uh, just not great for what we need right now. Let's see if we get a nice dice roll for a new house. Okay, we got ourselves 10. Not the greatest of all houses. I guess am I starting to think the lower the dice, the higher it is, the better off it is. I don't know what to see. Let's put this down here. Nice little kind of curb to that. I don't mind that at all. That's okay. And I can't really click on a house to find out what they do for us, but they did seem to add ourselves two more workers up possible. We had seven, so two more for these ones. All right, so we're getting pretty close to good numbers. I want to try and see if we can expand this place up here. I'm going to want this area over here, I think. Okay, it needs to overlap. Is that what it is? Okay. So this completely overlaps now, each other. So they need a quarry, which means I need to get exact amount good. I waited just a tiny bit. Give me a, something good, please. Now, yeah, well. It's going to give you, what, two per? 
second. And how much does this one give me? This one's giving me one per second. So I definitely got a better quality one on this side, which is great. Now I can actually get a little more bang for my buck. As you can see, the wood's going up nicely. We are running low here. There is other things you can do here. Mine across. And we probably try and do that. I think maybe into this wall. Is that possible? That wasn't there before, was it? Yeah, you know, let's see if we can produce this. Let's see what we can get inside there. Oh, I got an eight. Okay. Now, where do you place that? Let's just press E. Can I put it in here? I'm not exactly sure how the hell. It looks like it should go on the side of the wall. Uh, somewhere over here. I'm not sure why I would give you the option to do it if it wasn't able to do it. Okay, can I rotate around this? I can. So it's probably going to go into this wall here. All right, that took like a hot minute to find this. It was on this side here. You can actually see it just clicks right in. The other one wasn't working. Uh, so we're just going to place that down here. I'm not sure this one will give us some coal and also some iron. You can see I actually got some pretty decent stuff out of that. You can also turn this on or off, but now we got ourselves a little more stuff coming through here. I don't even know what the shrine does except to add shop. I kind of want to see everything that's going on here. So let's get it for a big roll. God oh, darn it. We'll get a little shrine. Maybe we'll put that shrine right over here. You know, the houses and stuff. I don't know. It'd kind of be something. What's this do? <laughs> I like the billy dog. It's really nice. Oh. Well, this actually, you can change your appearance of your die, all right? Reroll for 1,000 plus 50 gems. Oh. Reset ability. And these are throws right now. Physical throws. Meteor. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're going to try out that. I'm going to try out the meteor. Can I do it? Yeah, meteor throw. Cool. All right. We will at least uh, test that out at the same time. We did uh, use up some of our resources. I shouldn't have really you know, messed around with that too much. Uh, we do have, of course, wood coming in. We have all the rest of that stuff coming in. I think the next thing we're going to do is try and expand that farm a tiny bit. Uh, it's going to be super important, and uh, that is a windmill. I need this one here, and so I'm going to need 200 rock, which we're almost there. So I'm going to make that happen. Give me a good one. Holy moly, it knocks out the trees, dudes. Okay, eight is not bad, I guess. We can uh, make that happen. Can I rotate this so it fits properly? Does it have to rotate my mouse, like holding down the middle mouse button? Does that help me get this a little better? Yeah, it looks like it helps. Okay. So we'll plant down those more, a little bit of fields too. That's going to generate again some more. Uh, we currently have no food. What? What? Yeah, we need to invest in more food, dudes. That's that's imperative. I was so much in, into uh, what I was doing, trying to figure out how to do this. I didn't realize the food was going down that quick. Uh, so that's pretty bad. Uh, we're going to have to, uh, of course, get ourselves a little more fields and stuff. People are going to get hungry and probably die. I'm not exactly sure how that works out for them, but yeah. You know, it's the first time playing it, but I am very interested. I love the rest of this aspect of throwing the dice down. I never know what you're going to get from this. Uh, and sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. So far, we've been medium, medium, medium lucky. All right, let's go and throw down another field. Come on! Uh, 12 is not bad, I guess. All right, let's get lucky here. Not, this is not lucky at all. Not at all. Look, I moved the guy around. I love that. This guy's like stuck there, isn't he? You're stuck on top of the weed field, dude. Enjoy. It's better than nothing. The more I have this wheat, the more this will start producing. And do I have enough workers for this? Is that the problem right now? Maybe there's not enough people working. It does tell me. How many people are using for this one here? Only one worker that's doing that. So I'm not positive how come. Am I short on workers? Is that what it is? Might have no choice but to increase the population, I think. That's 450 per. Wow, that's expensive as hell. All right, so I turned off one of these here. And when I did turn it off, it did bring me to how many people are working, which is this is the amount of the people at my village, and that's how many people are working. And that seems to be okay. So the only thing I'm thinking of is maybe the windmill is not enough people. We do have two other workers we can get going on this. Uh, so I might actually work on getting myself a real windmill again. And we'll throw this down. Did I turn this back on, by the way, the market? I don't even know it is on, I guess. So, what do we get to? That's so sad. Okay. These are really not good. So, this produces, what, one? 
was three, two, and one. We just went from not bad to... Uh, but at least it should produce now a little bit more. I don't think we could catch up to it because it did say the workers were eating five per, I think it was. Minus five from 10 people. A uh, total of one per second. That is a lot to pull down. So hopefully this is enough. We have a whole bunch of grain we can produce now. And we have more enough right there. We also, our lumber and stuff isn't doing so, so bad. Again, I'm not sure we can. It seems like we can go over here and reset possibly some reset ability. Maybe it's abilities down here. The appearance. I thought maybe we would get lucky and be able to change this up too, maybe in the future. I'm not positive how this is going to work. Uh, there's also props here too. We have fences. We have bridges. We have also uh, the props we want to place down. Uh, they seem to be little things you can place all over the area here. Maybe to make it a little nicer for uh, our people. Doesn't seem to cost us very much. If it costs anything at all. I can't see how much is actually charging us for that. And then uh, for the quarry and stuff, maybe one out here too. Little lights. You have to go to work at night because I want them to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if possible. Super important. And we'll put some lights here. Can also put some props. I think these are actually not costing us anything, uh, which is nice too. So we can actually make ourselves a fence too if we wanted to. Was it here? Oh, it actually costs zero. So that's perfect. You can make a little fence line right like that, you see? Boom! I don't know if it screws the people over for working. But we're going to find out anyways. That's horrible there. I can't really see how far it goes. So I'll leave that open for now. The guys still have a farm field there if you want to have that. Uh, it doesn't cost anything for these. That's just... I thought there was the barrels. Okay. Also a bridge too. Could we build a cross from here? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, it does cost us to expand back out here. Oh, my God. How much the fence cost me? I wasn't looking. Yeah, it does cost the tie a bit. Okay. Here, I'm thinking it's all cheap and stuff. Eraser tool. All right. That's nice. All right. What do we want to build here? Next, I'm going to... How much wood are we getting in here? We're getting an okay amount of wood. Probably could get a good one. It'd be very nice. 17 okay that's good this is a much bigger one maybe we'll put that on angle right here oh it's got to be inside the village here it's weird some of the placements it's it's it has to be right in a tree line i think which i don't think they even bother taking out trees from here but we'll just put one here okay and for some reason this is stuck now on my screen but again it's a demo and it's not a finished product Obviously, these things are devs will fix as they progress through this. I'm going to need to get some more housing. You know what I'm doing? That's so going to kind of clear up an area here. I also need to spend money on a racer tool. 17! Oh! -ho. This is a house? Did I pick up a barn? Yeah, it must be a house because I can't click on it. I don't know if I could click on a barn either, but no, it's a house. Damn, look at the size of that thing. That's pretty darn big. Let's see if we can erase this issue that I have right now. Maybe we have to place one of these down here. At night, it's actually pretty nice to have all these lights here. Put one inside here if you wanted to. The shrine. One there. Just to make it look nice at nighttime, especially it doesn't seem to last very long, but still, it's kind of cool. If we can have some kind of lighting, people can kind of make their way through. The nice shrine, what they're never going to use, is all about the dice and stuff. It's all good. This is actually producing four wood now, so we're doing really nicely. I don't think I replace these at all. Like, is this something I could turn off? But, yeah, maybe in the future. I'd like to know about the fishing, but I don't think the fishing's inside the game, but the, it is here. So that is pretty good. I'm trying to see where else we can expand to next. There is some gems on that side. Maybe we should just try and do one more expansion here. 
what I get. Four. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Can't even get it where I want to go, so we'll expand out to that. Boom. One. <laughs> Just gets worse. Spending all that coin on this. There you go. 19. That gives me a heck of an area now. So yeah, I'm not going crazy is when you get the higher dice. That's why I thought so too. I thought maybe the game was different on this one, but this is pretty good. I want to keep everything into the same area if possible and really expand this back out. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have to worry about anything else, like roads and stuff, or it has to be close. Uh, so that's pretty good. I'm not sure much we're missing. I think we're missing wood, or sorry, rocks. Again, that thing is hiding on top of this. And that's something we have to wait. So you can actually really expand this back out and take over the entire town here. And like I mentioned, when we could build that bridge right across if we needed to. That's wherever we want to go on the other side and gather even more resources. Anyway, it's a cool little game. I like it. I also like the lighting that's showing up in here. I like to see what the developers have planned for this. I think it has a lot of potential. And then, yeah, hopefully they'll continue going and we'll see the demo evolve before the launch of the game. But I do like the dice throw and not knowing what we're going to get for our buildings is very cool. Anyways, well, thanks for being here. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, link in the description down below. And again, if you guys are enjoying seeing brand new games before the release and just like seeing videos in this channel, love to hear your comments in the comment fields. Hit the like button, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. You guys are awesome. This is Game Edged. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.